Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. We are working on a Cub Cadet XT2 LX 46 inch cut. This is the Endura series the Cub Cadet put out a few years ago. Pretty nice tractor. This is the uh, twin cylinder. I'm going to show you how to operate it in my opinion. First we want to do is open the hood, check out your motor. This is actually the Kohler 7000 series 24 horsepower twin engine. It has twin, it's a twin cylinder. It is it has two spark plugs it does have a lot of power i've been working on these things for a while i do like the motor oil is right here to check the oil i'm just going to pull it straight out get yourself a rag now we just service it so it's a little bit hard to see but between the dots and then you just want it i usually like to have it on the high side of the dot like just right below the, the top dot there just push it in you're good fuel tank is here straight on leaded you put in here here's a gas cap here you do have a nice feature i'm going to show you on this side if you do, guys want to change your own oil, this is the oil filter here, and it's a quick change oil filter they put on. So it makes it very easy to change your oil. All you have to do is turn that, pull it out. You can put a little tube on here or not. Just put something underneath here. You just turn it, twist it, pull it out halfway, drain out, put your new oil and oil filter on there, and you're good to go. And before I get on the tractor and show you how to operate it, there is one thing you want to make sure before you cut the grass. Make sure you check your tire pressure. The tire pressure on the rear are usually lower than the tire pressures in the front. And this one here says maximum tire pressure is 10 PSI. We normally put them around that PSI because we know during the course of the year they're going to go down a little bit. And I think the front are going to be between 14 and 16 or right around there. So just make sure your tire pressure is even before you cut. Because if you get a bad cut, the first thing you want to check is tire pressure. And tire pressure is one of those things where they're hard compound tires and even at low air, before you get on the tractor, they don't look flat, but in, when you do get on the tractor and you sit on it, then you have the issue where that tire will go down. So it's uh, important that you check your tire pressure. We have the throttle here. Now, as you can see, there is no choke anymore. This is an automatic choke. So wherever you put this throttle, I usually start at about half throttle. This should fire up and run. It has the, the automatic chokes in the front of the motor. This here is the hour meter it's a nice feature to have to show how many hours are on the machine it keeps you good for your service intervals this is your pto switch is power takeoff and that is when you pull this up to engage your mower deck make sure it's down at all times before you engage the mower deck then you have your ignition switch here you have to stop you have the reverse little guy right here you gotta be careful and then the on and then the crank okay this little yellow button here is for going in reverse you have to de depress this while you're when you want to cut in reverse you have to depress that and then go in reverse and i'll show you how to operate that too come back behind the seat here this actually is an, a nicer seat uh, this has um a couple armrests some people like it some people don't um, it is a comfortable seat uh, it must be a little upgrade on the lt x or the xt2 tractor tip it up and we have our battery battery is located here positive of course is red negative is black and you want to make sure that these terminals are tight okay if you don't have these terminals tight you got to make sure that they're tight at all times or they will not connect properly and you may or may not have a intermittent battery problem if they're not tight so make sure you're tight as far as the handle over here for the up and down in the mower deck this is just straight to the left and down and then up that's pretty much it for your cut height we have it's an automatic transmission so we have reverse pedal here and forward pedal here and basically it's just your your heel and toe to make it go backward and forward on the other side we have the emergency brake here and how you engage the emergency brake is you're going to push your foot down you have a, a lever here so the foot is depressed push the lever down and let go of your foot and then it actually puts it on when you want it to be off locked push down on the pedal let go and right before you're ready to go you can just let it go and you can start the engine with the brake on lock it in down and then now you can start the engine i'm going to get on the tractor we're going to fire it up and i'll show you how to engage the mower deck okay so i'm going to half throttle it key to crank as soon as it cranks i'm going to take I'm going to actually going to take off the emergency brake, which is on the other side. It's already on. So we have it on right now. I'm going to crank it up. I'm going to drop it down at low speed so you can hear me. But when you're ready to go, you just push your pedal, the emergency brake down, and let go. The handle itself will just disengage. And then when you want to move forward and backward,
shuts down. Okay, now the PTO is on right now and it's shut down. So you do have to disengage the PTO switch by pushing it in and then re-engage it. If you want to cut in reverse, you're going to turn your key back one notch to where this little guy is right here. a lot to take in with, with this little button here but they have to put this for safety and there is one thing I wanted to show you in the rear and that is when you want to roll your tractor you have a little guy here that's push he's pushing and he's sitting on it okay so this lever right here it's actually in and that means that it shouldn't really move too too much and you don't really want to push it with this in okay make sure your emergency brake is off pull this all the way out and then you should be able to push this tractor very easily just like this very easily roll. Just make sure when you get back on the tractor to run it, you push this back in. I've had a lot of people actually call me up and say, Brad, I, I can't get the tractor to move now. And it's because when it's in disengaged position, the pedals will not work. So pretty much, I think that's it for how to operate the Cub Cadet XT2 X46 inch deck. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, I appreciate everybody watching my videos. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.